are a great way to celebrate special occasions, but they're typically filled with fat, sugar, and excess calories. Hi, I'm Liz Weiss, and for my slim down cupcakes, I add some secret ingredients to cut the sugar, boost the nutrition, and eliminate the guilt. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna begin with three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. That's not a lot of sugar for a cupcake. And to that, we're going to add half a cup of canola oil. Now, when you use a vegetable oil, you cut the saturated fat that you would get if you added butter, which a lot of people do add to cupcakes. We're gonna beat this on medium speed for about a minute until everything's combined. So that's incorporated, and now we need to add a few more ingredients. We've got two large eggs and frozen wild blueberries. That's one of my secret ingredients. We're gonna add three quarters of a cup. It's a little messy. We've thawed the blueberries out, and we've got all of the, the liquid going in too. And blueberries have a really intense flavor, the wild kind especially. Some are sweet, some are tart. They have twice the antioxidants of regular blueberries. And when you're looking for them in the market, find them in the freezer section. Most are actually frozen right after harvest. Locks in all that good nutrition. We've got 1% low-fat milk, just half a cup, and then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just want to boost that flavor a little bit more. We're going to beat this on medium for about another minute. This is turning out to be quite an amazing batter. We've got our natural sweetness from those wild blueberries. They go great with chocolate, by the way. And speaking of chocolate, I've got chocolate cocoa powder in my dry ingredients. In here we have three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, a third cup of whole wheat flour. Now you can use whole wheat pastry flour if you have that in your pantry. Either will work. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt, just a little bit. So we want to add our dry ingredients to our liquid ingredients. And then we're going to beat this on low, maybe raise it to medium, until everything's incorporated. You might have to turn this off from time to time and scrape down the sides of the bowl just to make sure everything gets mixed in evenly. Our better batter is almost done. Everything's combined. I've got one more ingredient and that is just a quarter cup of semi-sweet mini chocolate chips. You don't need a lot, just a handful. Stir those in, and then we're gonna go ahead and make these cupcakes, finally. I've got 24 mini muffin cups right here. I've sprayed them with nonstick cooking spray, and then we just fill each cup with a little bit of batter. And then you just bake them in a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. Our wild blueberry chocolate cupcakes are done. I cooled them completely, and now we get to frost them. Now this frosting is so easy to make. It's made with a cup of powdered sugar, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, two tablespoons of low-fat milk, two tablespoons of a buttery spread. Now you could use butter, but I'm trying to keep the saturated fat down, so look for one of the alternative buttery spreads at the market. And then we've just got a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Traditional chocolate cupcakes can have up to 500 calories. Two of mine have half that amount. To make these cupcakes even more fun, you can decorate them with jelly beans or half a jelly bean. I'm wild about these cupcakes. Mmm, that frosting is so good. For Meal Makeovers, I'm Liz Weiss.